Hey everyone, this is Arun Asif. So I am back with this video in which I am going to share the five problems I faced in South Korea after I moved here as a student. I am going to give a disclaimer in the beginning that all the experience that I am going to share are my personal and experiences may vary from person to person but I am going to share only my experiences when I moved here to South Korea. I have been away from making videos because I was busy in lab and in this corona lockdown, our lab did not close and my professor has more time to interact with us and he gave us even more tasks. I had literally no time in past 2-3 months and I was working too hard. But one of my research paper also came and that's a good thing for me. The hard work paid back and I'm still working very hard but today I decided to spare some time to make this video and hopefully you will like this video. So let's start. So whenever you move to a foreign country and especially non-English speaking country so the biggest problem is their language. They would be speaking a totally different language from what you have been speaking. Experiencing a new language and a new culture is a big challenge. It is difficult to overcome and in the beginning it strikes you as a very big problem because you cannot communicate with anyone. In South Korea people who can speak English are very few and even those who can speak English they are so shy that they would hesitate to talk to you in English and it's quite difficult for an English speaking person to come to Korea and settle at once because in the beginning you'd struggle with the language and but with the passage of time you would understand and you would manage. So all main problems in South Korea start from the language. Everything you are going to come across in South Korea is in Korean language and if you do not have any prior exposure to Korean language so definitely it's gonna be a big problem for you because you cannot communicate to any native person so in the beginning you only talk with your sign language like a caveman Korean language is so difficult and in the beginning you can you do not understand anything you cannot read anything that is publicly written everything from public signboards to every household thing and in the market and on the machines everything is written in Korean and you have no clue what is going on and also all the mobile apps the social networking apps the navigation apps the messenger apps all of them have been transformed in Korean in such a way that a person who is interacting with them for the first time it would be difficult for him or her to check or to get to know things and to move around using those apps so Let's move to second problem. So whenever we move to a developed country like Korea, so we always try to look for a part-time job to earn some money out of our free time. But if we do not know Korean, it's very difficult to get a part-time job in South Korea in your first few months because you cannot communicate with the employer or with the customers or the clients. So it becomes a tough job. As a PhD student, you usually do not have time for a part-time job. But as a bachelor's or master's student, you have plenty of time for part-time job. But I would suggest that in the first one or two months, just focus on learning Korean language and then you can get a part-time job after two to three months when you know the basic Korean and when you can communicate the everyday phrases with any Korean person. Here comes the third problem and that is about food. When a foreign national moves to Korea, it is very difficult for him to find the food he likes. And especially the vegan food or the halal food is so difficult to find because Koreans eat the meat in almost every other food. And even the bakery item or in the convenience store item, the most of the things have some kind of meat in them. And so it's very difficult to find a vegan food or a halal food and especially the Indian food. Although in Korea you can find restaurants from every region of the world but definitely that would be an expensive food because that's not the native food and only the native food is that we can have at a reasonable price. So being a foreign student we cannot afford every day going to some restaurant and eating. So in the beginning what you have to do is to find those shops where you can find the food you like and especially the food from your region. Every other city in Korea has some marts where you would definitely find your kind of masalas or things or some spices that you have been eating all your life. So after food, the fourth problem I would like to list 
is the socializing among Koreans, mainly making Korean friends. Koreans do not intermingle so easily. It is very difficult to socialize with them in the beginning, but once they become your friend, so they remain very good friend of yours. One of the reasons that Koreans are not good at socializing with foreign nationals is the language. They cannot speak English or either your language. So they try to stay away from you, try to avoid you as much as possible so that they do not have to speak anything to you. And only a few people can speak English and those are difficult to find. One of the reasons that Koreans don't socialize or don't open up so quickly because they keep their professional life and personal life separate. Also, they don't have time for having friendships because most of the times they are doing some part-time job or they are studying. So they keep themselves busy so that they do not have to socialize it. And the last reason for this kind of behavior is the shyness of Koreans. So the fifth and the last problem that I would like to share here is that buying things. Whenever you go to any shop, any market, or even you try to buy the online things, everything would be in Korean. English websites are there, but still when the time comes for the payment, everything shifts to Korean. All the payment system, mainly the bank transfer or the card payment are in Korean. So it is difficult to make those payments online. So I think that the Korean language is the main barrier that keeps us away from settling to Korea so easily in the beginning. But with the passage of time, you learn new things and you learn new language and you get to know some words that become useful later on. So my advice or my suggestion would be to learn Korean as soon as possible. If you do not have much time to learn Korean, then try to learn everyday phrases that can be used while buying something or while going out, while going to a restaurant or while making an online payment or while looking around. So that's all for this video. If you have any question, just comment down below and just subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making such similar videos.